আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম ডক্টর আসমাউল হোসনা অ্যাসোসিয়েট প্রফেসর ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ প্যাথোলজি মুসুন্ধরা দিন মেডিকেল কলেজ ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস ওয়েলকাম টু অল টুডেজ সেশন টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু ডিসকাস অ্যান ইম্পর্টেন্ট টপিক দ্যাট ইজ পিবিএফ পিবিএফ মিন্স পেরিফেরাল ব্লাড ফিল্ম ফার্স্ট অফ অল ইউ হ্যাভ টু নো হোয়াট ইজ পেরিফেরাল ব্লাড ফিল্ম হোয়েন এ ড্রপ অফ ব্লাড ইজ কালেক্টেড ফ্রম পেরিফেরাল ভেইন অর ক্যাপিলারি and then smart on a glass slide and stain with a suitable stain so that the various blood cells are visualized and can be examined under microscope then it is known as peripheral blood film actually it is two types one is thin film and another one is uh, thick film and it has three part the portion of blood film near the drop of blood that is known as head and the main part of the film is called body and the tapering end of the blood film that is known as tail this is the picture of a peripheral blood film you see it has three portion one is head and then the main portion of the film that is body and the tapering portion that is tail and behind the tail we can examine the morphology of the blood cells and so this portion is known as zone of morphology then you have to know how a peripheral blood film is prepared and how can we interpret the blood smear at first the staining of the blood film at first we have placed the air dried blood film on the staining rack and then covered the blood film with lishman stain which is 0.2% and after that allow the stain to act for 1 to 2 minutes and then dilute the stain with distilled water which is about twice of the stain and then mix the stain and the distilled water by blowing and after that you allow the stain to act for 7 to 10 minutes and then again wash the stain with distilled water and lastly place the slide in the staining position till the film is dry after dry we will examine the uh, film under microscope at first we have examined the film in low power view to assess the quality of the film and whether the red cells agglutination or excessive pulp formation is present or not and uh, we can examine the number distribution and the staining of the leukocyte we also can scan over the inter blood smear to ensure the abnormal blood cells and in low power we also can select an area where the red cells are evenly distributed and no distortion between the tail and the body of the film then we will examine the film in high power uh, in high power we can examine the morphology of the rbc wbc and the platelet uh, in rbc we we can uh, examine the size and shape and also pattern of the staining of hemoglobin and also the inclusion and association of the rbc and in wbc we can examine the relative number and the morphology of uh, wbc and in platelet we will examine the relative number and the morphology of the platelet and also in the peripheral blood film in high power we can examine the presence of malaria parasites microfilaria dysmenia donovani and trypanosoma and lastly we will examine the film in oil immersion and in oil immersion examination we actually reserve the final examination of an atypical cells and to note the fine details at such as cytoplasmic granules punctate basophilia and the malaria parasite what information you will get from a blood film or how we will interpret a peripheral blood film and uh, in rbc morphology what can we see or what information we will get from the rbc uh, we can uh, inform we can get the size and the hemoglobin content the shape and the inclusion of rbc the size may be normocytic microcytic macrocytic or anisocytosis and the chromatia uh, it may be normochromic hypochromic or polychromatia and in shape and configuration um, we will see the polyculocytosis we can examine target cell and uh, inclusion like owl jody bodies and malaria parasite 
uh, in our WBC we can examine the number of the uh, WBC it may decreased or normal or increased and we also can uh, identify the differential count of uh, leukocyte and also we can uh, identify the morphology of uh, WBC which may be mature immature hypermature and what are the causes of uh, microcytic uh, red blood cell you have to know that this is very much important for your uh, viva examination what are the causes of microcytes the causes of microcytes include iron deficiency anemia then thalassemia and uh, sideroblastic anemia and uh, the microcytes the causes are vitamin b12 and folate deficiency then uh, chemotherapy liver disease hypothyroidism multiple myeloma aplastic anemia the target cell it is found in case of uh, liver disease thalassemia uh, post splenectomy iron deficiency sickle cell anemia and the hemoglobin c disease then the spherocytes what are the causes of uh, spherocytes the causes are included autoimmune hemolytic anemia hereditary spherocytosis microangiopathic hemolytic anemia disseminated intervascular coagulation and post splenectomy what are the causes of pigmented erythrocytes it include microangiopathic hemolytic anemia and disseminated intervascular coagulation and the rot cells found in iron deficiency hereditary elliptocytosis and the tear drop cells are also found in case of myelofibrosis and the marrow infiltration then the nucleated red blood cell the nucleated red blood cell may be found in case of uh, marrow infiltration uh, severe hemolysis myelofibrosis the bar cells present in case of uh, renal failure all jolly, jolly bodies found in case of post splenectomy or megaloblastic anemia and the basophilic stippling also presents in case of this hemopoietic state that means megaloblastic anemia high rule of formation can be examined in case of high plasma fibrinogen in case of paraproteinemia agglutination and cold agglutinin and the causes of reticulocytosis are hemo hematinic therapy bleedings hemolysis marrow infiltration and sudden severe hypoxia and lastly the causes of hinge bodies include enzymopathies that means glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency oxidant examples are sulfonamide unstable hemoglobin and post splenectomy that's all about today's lectures my dear student See you again in our next class. Till then, Allah Hafiz.